Nebula! Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! My father will be so upset with me. You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But father- Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Father. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Do it! Gamora, hand it over. Fine. Here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. You slapped me! You tried to stab me! So maybe we're even! Perhaps. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh... I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. I saw what happened. You were just trying to protect her. You can't blame yourself for that. I'm not so sure. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. There were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. Gamora, she didn't want your help. She wanted to prove herself on her own. Even if it meant hurting you. I know, but... Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. Listen, you are my friend, and I don't make friends with failures, okay? I, uh, don't think that's true. Look, the point is, no matter what you did in the past, I will always stand by you. You're awesome. I'm proud to call you my friend. That is so cheesy. I know, but I think I've made my point. 
come on. Let's figure out why the forge brought us here before things get even more. Weird. Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside. Or why it's been drawing us here. Gamora. My mom could be in there. I need to do this. All right, Peter. I'm with you. Do you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom... Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Only one way to find out. That looked... so, so painful. Are you okay? Yes. Now that you are here... Not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... you came for me... after all these... Ooh, what are these? They're very shiny. Hey, over here. Ah, oh, Peter Quill. You're really here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. How do you know who I am? We have met. But I was not me. I am called Mantis. Whoa! 
Thank you. May I borrow that? <clears throat> You're gone. It will only be for a moment. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. <sighs> Very well, then. Didn't see that coming. <sighs> it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? You must have many questions for me. Take your time. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One. That you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could your memories the ones most vivid to you but you must understand I had no control over them I was only trying to communicate I... yes you should be proud of freeing me I no longer have to stare into the infinite crushing darkness it was so boring how could you possibly know how he feels I can show you angry lady Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Watch. Peter Quill is filled with pride over your friendship. It makes his body parts grow. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure! Oh, this isn't going to go well. You and your friends truly are special. No wonder you are the ones to hold the Eternity Forge. It is an honor to be among you. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? I got just the one.